The following video demonstrates the technique of a robotic adrenalectomy with Firefly as a strategic approach to optimize key surgical steps of this operation. It is presented by the Department of Surgery from the University of Arizona College of Medicine and Banner University Medical Center in Phoenix, Arizona. This is a 33-year-old obese female with an elevated serum aldosterone and aldosterone to renin ratio consistent with primary hyperaldosteronism. A preoperative adrenal vein sampling localized the increased aldosterone production to the right adrenal gland. She was therefore recommended to undergo a right adrenalectomy. A robotic approach was selected for improved visualization, ease of retraction of the liver and instrument manipulation in an obese patient, improved dissection ability with wristed instruments, and for use of firefly to identify the border of the adrenal gland and the adrenal vein. The patient is positioned in left lateral decubitus with the bed flexed in line with the superior aspect of the anterior superior iliac spine. The trocar placement for a robotic right adrenalectomy on the da Vinci XI is similar to the laparoscopic trocar placement, which is depicted here. The lateralmost trocar is positioned more medially, placing all four trocars in a linear fashion about six centimeters apart and a few finger breaths off the costal margin. The camera is inserted in trocar three. Trocars two and four serve as the main working ports, and the instrument placed in trocar one is used for liver retraction. The robot is docked perpendicular to bed over the patient's right side. In preparation for use of Firefly, 25 milligrams of indocyanine green is mixed with 10 cc's of saline. The procedure is begun with mobilization of the liver. Adhesions from her previous cholecystectomy are divided. The right triangular ligament and retroperitoneal attachments of the liver are mobilized next. This dissection continues medially until the inferior vena cava is encountered. The wristed instruments ease this dissection. Once the liver is adequately mobilized, it is retracted cephalad with the fourth robotic arm, exposing the anterior surface of the adrenal gland. The fourth arm essentially replaces the need for an assistant to retract the liver. In obese patients, this is particularly useful as there is no struggle with assistant fatigue while retracting a heavy liver. Dissection of the adrenal gland is begun by opening gerota's fascia at the superior medial aspect of the kidney. Dissection is continued laterally, clearing all retroperitoneal fat from the superior aspect of the kidney. During this dissection, 4 cc's of indocyanine green solution is injected intravenously. This will be taken up by the adrenal gland within minutes. Firefly is utilized for the first time at this juncture to identify the inferior border of the adrenal gland. Identifying the adrenal gland border allows the surgeon to confidently avoid dissecting into the adrenal gland, which can cause bleeding and make the dissection more difficult. Dissection then continues posterior to the gland until the psoas muscle is identified. The retroperitoneal fat is cleared from the psoas and included with the adrenal gland specimen. The left hand can then be used to retract the adrenal gland and retroperitoneal fat anteriorly, placing the retroperitoneal fat along the medial border of the adrenal gland under tension to aid in dissection. Gerota's fascia is then opened medially to begin the medial dissection of the adrenal gland. The improved visualization with the robotic camera is particularly helpful during the medial dissection as the arterial vessels are divided and the adrenal vein is identified. The robotic camera provides an approximately 10 times zoom factor. In addition, when seated at the surgeon console, the surgeon sees a three-dimensional image which unfortunately cannot be appreciated during this video. Firefly is utilized to identify the inferior medial border of the adrenal gland prior to dissection of the retroperitoneal fat at the medial aspect of the gland. Again, this allows the surgeon to confidently dissect the medial tissue without violating the adrenal gland and causing unnecessary bleeding. It also allows the surgeon to identify a safe location to retract the gland without grasping the gland itself.
Firefly is used intermittently during the medial dissection to identify the border of the adrenal gland and intermittently evaluate for the presence of the adrenal vein. As the medial dissection continues superiorly, the retroperitoneal fat is cleared off the psoas muscle. During this dissection, the small arterial vessels are divided with the vessel sealer. Firefly is again utilized to identify the medial border of the adrenal gland and to evaluate for the presence of the adrenal vein. The medial dissection follows the inferior vena cava cephalad. As this dissection proceeds, note that the wristed instrument in the right hand enhances the surgeon's ability to perform the medial dissection without significant manipulation of the inferior vena cava. The adrenal vein is now identifiable with firefly. This allows for careful dissection of the retroperitoneal fat at the medial aspect of the gland until the adrenal vein is visualized directly. The vein is then circumferentially dissected with the vessel sealer. It is then clipped and subsequently divided. Note the benefit of the wristed instruments to gain appropriate angles for clipping and dividing the vein. Dissection is continued along the superior aspect of the adrenal gland. Firefly is again utilized to identify the superior border of the adrenal gland. As the dissection continues laterally, the retroperitoneal fat is cleared from the psoas muscle. Inferiorly, the retroperitoneal fat is cleared from the superior aspect of the kidney. This dissection continues laterally to the level of the peritoneal reflection. At the conclusion of the procedure, the psoas muscle and superior aspect of the kidney will be cleared of retroperitoneal fat. Laterally, this will extend to the peritoneal reflection and medially to the inferior vena cava. In summary, utilization of Firefly for robotic adrenalectomy allows for better visualization of the border of the adrenal gland throughout the procedure, allowing the surgeon to avoid dissecting into the gland. It also aids in identification of the adrenal vein. The use of robotics for this case improves the overall visualization, and the wristed instruments improve the ease of dissection without significant tissue manipulation. Robotic adrenalectomy with Firefly is a useful technique to enhance visualization and facilitate a safe and clean dissection of the adrenal gland. Thank you.